conservation and management. This lecture will be divided into two parts, which is will be described about sustainable development and explain about a threat to biodiversity in Malaysia. Let us discuss deeply about this subtopic together. So, what is sustainable development? Sustainable development can be defined as a development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the abilities of the future generation to meet their own needs. In this lecture, we will de describe the sustainable development in three major areas, which is sustainable forestry, sustainable agriculture, and sustainable fishery. So, for sustainable forestry, the aim is to maintain and enhance our forest ecosystem. So, there are several programs for sustainable forestry, such as reforestation. So, there is a new news in 2021 by our government, which is a campaign penanaman 100 juta pokok until 2025 by Kementerian Tenaga dan Sumber Asli. The second program is a conservation of forest ecosystem. This is true by National Forestry Policy in 1977. And we gazette our forest reserve, for example, Taman Negara. And in Sarawak, we have a lot of Taman Negara that we can discuss or we can explore together. For sustainable agriculture, the aim is to maintain the natural environment and using ecological principles for sustained farming practices. We also reject the nature, natural flow of the food web, which is a nutrient from the plant and animal, must be returned back into the soil and atmosphere. So there are several programs for sustainable agriculture. The first one, we use a biological pest control. There are many examples for biological pest control, but one example that we can take is akin to introduce into Australia to control a beetle infestation of sugar cane. We also can done a crop rotation. This is to make sure that kita, we maintain the natural soil fertility. And the third one is row planting. This is to maintain or to lower the risk of the soil erosion. The third one is sustainable fishery. The aim of sustainable fishery is to integrate all management techniques to maintain the natural resource. It can be divided into several programs, such as the first one is a closed season where during those season, the fishing is not allowed. The second one is open season, where the fishing is allowed. The third one is quotas. The quota system is each country need to have a specific amount of fish for each country allowed to catch. The fourth one is to minimum mass size, where the mass size should be large enough to allow small and immature fish to pass through to maintain or replenish the fish stock. Malaysia is a one country that have a rich biodiversity in the world. But our country also having a threat towards our bio biodiversity. So in this lecture, we will discuss about three major biodiversity examples that, ha uh, that we have in Malaysia to see what is the threat towards those animal or plant. The first one is ladyback sea turtle where the leatherback sea turtle is the largest turtle in the world as well as the oldest that having lived in the ocean for 150 million years. So the major threats of the leatherback sea turtle is the egg threat, tourism, habitat disturbance, incidental captures of the fishing gear, low hatching percentage and sea pollution. The second example is milky stock. Predominantly, a coastal resident in Indonesia and Malaysia having a milky stock which is inhibiting our mangrove and adjacent less saline swamp. So, our milky stock is eating fish, prawns and crab. The major trends of our milky stock is about the mango growth clearance due to the large scale fish farm, a tidal rice cultivation and logging, where some of them has been hunt for chicks and eggs for the food and do domestication. Last but not least is a silver orchid. So silver orchid is found in every habitat from the coastal mangrove forest to the highest mountain peak in Malaysia. So the major threats of silver orchid is disturbance or modification of the habitat, which is forest destruction, commercial collection and damage 
and also predation from the grazing animals. Okay, that is the end of our lectures. So before we close our lectures, I want to take one quote from Rachel Carlson, which is an environmentalist in the United States of America. But the man is a part of the nature, and his war against a nature is inevitably a war against himself. So please protect our natures. Go green.